Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De. In this video, I have shortly stated the topics which are really important for competitive exam like NEET and INICT. So, I have shortly stated the topics which were previously asked repeatedly many times in competitive exam and I have also uh, shortly stated the topics of recent trends the question which is likely to be asked in upcoming examination so let's discuss the topic important topics first topic which is really important is body fluid so you have to know the measurement of body fluid total body water ex, uh, total body water intracellular fluid extracellular fluid plasma volume blood volume so their measurements their calculation and dice which used to calculate this body volume so you have to know details about body flow uh, body fluid volume their amount their uh, calculation formula and which are the die that is used to calculate different type of body fluids and how to calculate okay so first topic is body fluid second is homeostasis so this topic is also important homeostasis you have to know what is positive feedback regulation what is negative feedback regulation what is fit forward regulation so you should know all the type of regulations of homeostasis with example of each of the regulations and another thing that you should know that is problem based question in homeostasis that is important for INICT exam in uh, few years ago in AIMS examination there was one question regarding pro uh, homeostasis problem based question was that I think the question was about calculation of correction factor next important topics is transport process very important topic you should know the example of primary secondary active transport like sodium potassium atps pub type of hglt or sodium dependent glucose transposer secondary active transport and other examples of primary and secondary active transport facilitated transport like GLUT or glucose transporter type of GLUTs where it is found GLUT 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc and the graph related to uh, facilitated transport like saturation kinetics you should know the graphical presentations of facilitated transport and passive diffusion okay so this graph is also important next cellular junction is one of the important topic like gap junction tight junction macula adherence zona adherence their component structure where it is found this cellular junction topic is important next is markers of cellular components like markers of nucleus mitochondria Golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum etc so you should know markers of each of the components of cell next important topic is cytoskeleton filaments like microtubules like uh, kinin or dynein, tibulin etc or intermediate filament like cytokeratin, desmin different type of markers of malignancy related to intermediate filaments okay etc you should know very well then equilibrium potential is very important questions for exam like AIMS examination in INICT you can expect one question related to this equilibrium potential calculation this topic is very important repeatedly asked in AIMS examination next you should know Gibbs Donan effect and gives Donan effect, Nernst equation, Goldman equation, etc. Next, you should also know draw any diagrams. This topic is also important for INICT or AIMS examination. So, different components of body fluid, ECF, ICF, and they are changes with different pathology. So, you should know tarot any diagrams. Next, action potential is one of the very important topic for NEET examination also for INICT you should know all the events like what is firing potential deep polarization repolarization hyperpolarization they are basics so this firing potential this depolarization repolarization hyperpolarization they are basics 
what are the events occurring in each phase and the graphical presentation you should know very well and you should know also know what is refractory period what is the difference between absolute and relative refractory period what is the mechanism then you should know what is chronaxi and what is rio base and uh, mechanism of muscle contraction you should know very well and there can be true false question regarding muscle contraction and you should also know sarcomere and its structure so this is very important question for INICT examination also for need image based question may be asked regarding H band I band M band Z line and what are the components protein attached to this like line titin so alpha actinin so each of the protein and and uh, that helps in then helps in formation of sarcomere then another thing that you should know it nerve fiber types like a alpha a beta a gamma a delta b fiber c fiber what is slow pain what is epicratic pain what is fast pain what are the function of each type of fibers which fibers is more susceptible to pressure changes etc you should know very well next nerve injury is another important topic like shedon's classifications Sundarland classification and nerve injury, valerian degeneration is also important topic. Next questions, next important topic is lung volume cards. Very important topic. You should know the all the lung volumes like tidal volume, vital capacity, inspiratory capacity, reserve volume, functional residual volume. Their calculations, their value. You should know. Next oxygen dissociation cup. Very important topic. Main, the main important topic of ODC is this right and left shift. So what are the so what are the factors that causes right shift of the oxygen dissociation curve and what are the factors that causes left shift of the oxygen dissociation curve like carbon dioxide oxygen concentration, uh, pH changes, temperature, effect of 2,3, 23 BPG or effect of fetal hemoglobin or hemoglobin F. So these factors you should know very well along with Bohr's effect and chloride shift. So Bohr's effect, chloride shift, reverse chloride shift you should know very well. Okay, next, next important topic is type of hypoxia like histotoxic hypoxia or um, hypoxic hypoxia, anemic hypoxia, stagnant hypoxia, their differences, example, pathological changes in the bodies and their treatment you should know. This is very important topic. Another to important topic is uh, decompression sickness, its management, acclimatization, changes, uh, up changes during acclimatization. Acclimatization is very important topic. Dead space is another important topic from respiratory system. Anatomical dead space, physiological dead space, total dead space, their calculation and how to calculate and also the problem based question is important. Another topic that is important is compliance. This is also important for problem based calculation question. Specific compliance, dynamic compliance, how to calculate compliance, what is compliance. So these things are important. Especially this problem-based calculation question is important for INICT exam. Also important for NEET. Then minute volume calculation is important for problem-based question. So this is calculation problem-based question. Then respiratory quotient is one time once. This question was asked in I think INICT exam. So you should know how to calculate RQ. Next, neural regulation of respiration is important topic. What is DRG? What is VRG? What is apneustic center? What is pneumotaxic center? Their function and role is important. And next things is important is chain stroke breathing, bitters breathing, and apneustic breathing, and their graphical presentation is important. So how so graphical presentation of each type of breathing like chain strokes breathing hyper uh, hyperventilation followed by hyper hyperventilation. So this graphical presentation is important along with different reflexes related to respiratory system, herring bird reflex, paradoxical reflex of head, J reflex, so reflexes are important. Next 
came from endocrinology first thing that is very important from hormone receptor type so the receptor responsible for different hormone action jackstat pathway tyrosine kinase pathway camp cgmp ip3 dj pathway so different pathways responsible for hormone action their receptor is very very important topic repeatedly asked topic so mechanism of action of hormone then different hormone deficiency disease like addison disease cons disease and ex, uh, not only hormone deficiency hormone excess disease is also important so addison con then cushing so diabetes mellitus okay then dwarfism dwarfism so this disease hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism hypo and hyperthyroidism so this disease uh, topic and with hormone function question is important next menstruation menstrual cycle is important different hormone so hormonal balance or hormonal effect of menstrual cycle is important next topic uh, important from uh, reproductive system is spermatogenesis different phases of spermatogenesis their time duration and uh, specially spermiogenesis and spermat uh, spermatocytogenesis their difference oogenesis is another important topic the difference between spermato and oogenesis is important then sartoli cell function is important from renal or kidney these two topic is important renal auto regulation or regulation of blood flow inside kidney into kidney or tubular glomerular feedback how it is how feedback is a mechanism of this tubular glomerular feedback then another thing important that is jg apparatus what is jg apparatus their components lasis cell macula densa and their functions then clearance this question is important for calculation based question or problem based question so you should know very well how to calculate clearance an example of clearance creatinine clearance inulin clearance what is which one is the gold standard and how to also calculate the renal blood flow or renal plasma flow how to calculate the filtration fraction so this clearance renal blood flow filtration fraction filtration fraction this is important as problem based question then how to calculate the net filtration pressure next important question from renal important is channel present in renal tubule like what are the channels that is present in pct what are the channels that is present in the loop of henle what are the channel that is present in this distal tubule and collecting the their function and absorption pattern which are the substance that is absorbed in this part and on the descending and difference between absorption pattern in thin and thick or descending on ascending loop of henle different channel presence uh, the disease if the channel is affected like barter syndrome gitelman syndrome liddell syndrome and what is fanconi syndrome so what is si adh what is diabetes insipidus so these things are important okay uh, liddell syndrome con syndrome gitelman syndrome next sensory receptor is important from uh, nervous system like touch receptor pressure receptor mesner corpuscles markel disc uh markel disc passenger corpuscles their function different pathway so like um, pyramidal tract and extra pyramidal tract is important uh, pyramidal tract extra pyramidal tract like and their pathway like pain pathway and uh, then dorsal um, pyramidal tract then different tract like dorsal column then spinothalamic tract anterior and lateral spinothalamic tract so this tracts are important and injury of this tract is also important and uh, visual pathway is very important topic from nervous system there are defects like damage of optic chiasma damage of optic tract and then effect of 
pituitary tumor like bitemporal hemianopia so visual pathway this defect is very important you can expect one question from this topic either from ophthalmology or physiology so from both point of view this visual pathway is important auditory pathway is important i think all of you know the mnemonics ecolima this is one of the famous mnemonic ecolima is the mnemonic for auditory pathway sometimes the sequential arrangement is asked from auditory pathway then cardiac action potential pacemaker potential and the graphical presentation of this cardiac action potential pacemaker potential and the mechanism of action potential in different uh, phase 1 2 0 this is asked i think in the inict 2020 it was asked next regulation of bp like baroreceptor control chemoreceptor control cns ischemic reflex is important then pozol poisonous law the one time this question was asked problem based question so you should know the this law different types of blood flow renolds number then cardiac reflex is important like ben bridge reflex cushing reflex so this reflexes are important next what is the function of eto cell or stellate cell from gi is important then different types of gv different waves of gvv like a wave c wave uh, v wave y wave so what is the basis of formation of these waves in different uh, in different phase of cardiac cycle you should know name ecg waves p qrt complex t wave e wave uh, when they they are formed in which phase of cardiac cycle so mechanism you should know then clotting factors name of the clotting factors are coagulation pathway intrinsic extrinsic pathway you should know also the anti coagulation mechanism and different uh, anti coagulation anti coagulant factor then uh, iron vitamin b12 absorption mechanism different transporter responsible like for iron uh, divalent metal transporter then ferroportin hepstein role of hepcidin you should know in iron absorption then pneumocytes type 1 type 2 function rds this type 1 type 2 pneumocyte and their electron microscopy electron microscopy image was Im image is important recently in the last uh, back to back two inict examination image based question was given electron microscopy image uh, so related to covid 19 infection and any other disease so pneumocytes related question can be asked then fetal circulation is important topic and changes after birth uh, changes in fetal circulation after birth then decortic and decerebral rigidity uh, important topic then another very important topic is brown sequard syndrome the role of hemi transection of spinal cord which are the tracts affected ipsilateral and contralateral then types of hemoglobin like and some some of the fetal hemoglobin is important and hemoglobin uh, difference between hemoglobin a hemoglobin b then hemoglobin f and thalassemia is important and different hemoglobinopathy like sickle cell disease uh, is important and uh, different uh, laboratory parameters that is used to detect this anemia is important so types of hemoglobin and anemia topic is important and also leukemia and platelet disease is important so this uh, topic i will discuss in pathology and tetanizing frequency is one of the important problem based question calculation based question many time asked in inict examination so that is all about physiology important question repeatedly asked topic and recent trends and problem based or calculation based question important topics in the next video i am going to discuss important topics of biochemistry that that was repeatedly asked in the previous examination so stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel dr shankar de so thank you for watching